This is the all new 4 Series from BMW. The specific car we have today is the 435 with X Drive all wheel drive. And 4 Series is a brand new line for BMW. It replaces the 3 Series Coupe and Cabriolet. BMW has gone to a new naming structure. The even numbered cars will be coupes or cabriolets, and the odd numbered cars will be sedans. For example, the 3, 5, and 7 series are all sedans. This 4 series is a coupe. Now this 4 series definitely is bigger than the 3 series coupe it replaces. About an inch longer, three inches wider, but the biggest difference is the cropped roof line, which provides a sleek and sexy looking silhouette. This new 4 Series is a bit more elegant, not as business-like as the older car, but you have to admit it has some very sexy lines down the side. Sold as a 428 or this 435, both are available with or without all-wheel drive. The 435 gets these beautiful 19-inch alloy wheels, 18 inches with the 428, but if you want to spend extra money on the less expensive car, you can get the upgraded wheel package. The 428 starts at $44,900 and the 435 starts at $54,900. To get all-wheel drive on the base 428, you have to add a whopping $4,100. But on this car, the 435, it's just $700 more to get all-wheel drive. Well, when you get in the 4 Series, instantly recognizable as a BMW. If you've ever been in a BMW, you know it right away. And that's one knock against this brand, is all of their interiors basically look the same. This one looks slightly modified from the previous car. But on the other hand, they do some of the nicest materials in any car available right now. Beautiful soft touch materials on the top of the dash, the doors, even the lower part of the doors are covered with soft touch materials. Why does that matter? It holds up and it doesn't scuff and definitely lasts longer. So first rate materials in here, but more of the same. The back seat has a surprising amount of room. Tall adults can sit back there. It's the getting in and out that can be a little bit tricky. The back seat does fold down for more cargo area, making this a functional and sporty car. Now, before we go for a drive, let's talk about iDrive. I've been on record for many years saying I've been no fan of this information communication system controller, uh, but you know what? They've upgraded it and amended it over the years to the point that I can actually use it now. It's really quite simple and I actually do appreciate it. One thing that Audi does better than BMW is they have a little volume knob right next to it. You change the station, you adjust the volume, you have to go to the steering wheel or the dash. That's one thing I'd like to see improved. Now under the hood of the 4 Series are two direct injection turbocharged engines. One's a 4 cylinder, the other an inline 6. The base engine is a 2 liter 4 cylinder unit with 241 horsepower. Sure, this is a nice compromise of power and efficiency, but the new Audi 2 liter in their S3 has 300 horsepower, and the Mercedes 2 liter in the CLA AMG has 355 horsepower. So 241 horsepower really isn't mind blowing. The upgrade engine is the one in the 435, and it's still one of the best engines on the market today. It's a direct injection, turbocharged, three liter inline six cylinder, and it's a beauty. Now this unit puts out 300 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque, but it feels like more. It could also be because of the eight-speed automatic transmission we have here. Now, if you've never owned a BMW before, the turbocharged four-cylinder we mentioned at the beginning might be the engine to get because it's less expensive to buy, it does a good job, and it's better on fuel. But if you've owned a BMW before and you're used to having an inline six-cylinder engine, the sound and the feel will be something that you're familiar with. If it was my my money, this is the engine I would get. With so many new engines coming from other German makers, often with more power, BMW is being conservative. But these two engines are good performers. They could, however, have come with something just a little newer for this sexy machine. Now the handling of this car is surprising in that it's a bit softer than you would expect. The one thing I've noticed is the German cars are going towards more supple suspensions, where my Cadillac, for example, is getting firmer, much firmer than this car with the Cadillac ATS. 
The thing is, you need to drive and test drive this 4 Series with and without sport packages because it makes a marked difference. But when you do push this car and throw it in the corners, boy, it does really handle well. The engine and suspension parameters can be changed with a touch of a button on the console. I like the comfort setting for stop and go city traffic and the sport setting for the rest of the time. Fuel economy has been very good for me. I've had a chance to drive this car, the 435, with the manual and with the 8-speed automatic in this one. And I'm getting just over 10 litres per 100 kilometres. Now this is a beautiful car, you have to admit, it handles beautifully, it's got the badge appeal of BMW, but BMW doesn't live in a vacuum. The interior is basically more of the same. The engines are directly carried over from the previous model, and there are many strong competitors, especially the Germans. You can get 300 horsepower from a four-cylinder engine, where BMW gets it out of an inline six. And then you've got the strong competition from Lexus and Infiniti. So BMW has moved things forward, but ever so slightly slightly from a three to a four. Want more? Extended reviews of many of our segments are available online at drivingtelevision.com.